Hey everyone, it's Suzanne. I'm back with another video and this video is all my manicures that I wore for the month of November. So if you're new to my channel, I rate all my manicures. If you've been here for a while, I'll put a timestamp up somewhere so you can see up straight to the manicures and skip over this little spiel. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. And I do rate all my manicures. I rate them on a scale of one to five and they are all based on either song lyrics or album cover titles from bands so the rating goes from one to five one being the worst five being the best so if it gets a rating of one that is hot dog flavored water and that is actually an album cover from the band Limp Biscuit. if it's a number two how could you do somebody like that that is a song boiler by Limp Biscuit. number three gets a rating of because your mouse writing checks that your ass can't cash which is a song called full nelson by Limp Biscuit. Number four is that one day I will get you in my hands and I'll play with you, which is a song called Play With Me by ICP. And number five is Here's What It Looks Like Being the Best, which is a song called A Cut Above by Avery Watts. So it's just kind of something different I do. And just remember, I am not rating the polishes, even though I usually talk about that too. I'm basically rating the manicures. So for the month of November, I had 18 manicures with 27 polishes so for the first manicure i wore one polish i wore this polish from bluebird lacquer and it is called bark side of the moon and it's just really really i don't even know how to describe it it's like a brown but look it's like a multi-chrome it goes to gold it goes to green um in my pictures, you'll see a regular base coat, two coats of polish, glossy top coat. My note says it was easy removal, and I said I love it when it went from green, when it goes from green, but to gold and brown, I don't know, but it was really, really pretty. I wind up rating this a three because your mouse writing checks that your ass can't cash because it was a really, really pretty polish. Next up, I wore one polish from Red Eyed Lacquer, and this polish was named broken crow and this came out um, not too long ago in her like new york um street art series or something but it's basically it's supposed to be like an orangey hollow um in my pictures you'll see a regular base coat two coats of polish and a glossy top coat i do think this is very pretty but i did not like it on my skin tone it was easy to remove um Love the look, but the base color is too close to my skin tone for me personally. So I'm putting this one in a give in the giveaway. I wind up rating this a two. How could you do somebody like that? Because it just, I just didn't really love the base color on me. But I love the formula and I love those shattered hollows that she did for that collection. I just, the base color on me just wasn't for me. Next up, I wore one polish from Rogue Lacquer. I wore this Berry Jam and this this you guys whew, whew. on my pictures you'll see a regular base coat two coats of polish and glossy top coat this was easy removal this was stunning 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 i am going to venture out and say this is the best red in my collection definitely but the best red i've ever seen um it just has something about it i'm not a red person but this ooh, this is a good one i rated this a five this is what it looks like being the best because like I said, this is, I'm going to say it's at least in the top three reds, but I'm going to go out right now and say it's the best red, but um, that's just what I'm thinking, but it is beautiful. Next up, I wore one polish. I wore this polish from Sweet and Sour Lacquer. Look at that glow. That is just wild, guys. This is called Chanel the Flannel. Um, in my pictures, you'll see a blurring base coat four coats of polish and a glossy top coat not sure how i feel about this one i love the glow in it um the blue was amazing but was it brown or was it sheer i'll try to put up a couple pictures but it was like at some points i could kind of see like a sheerness but i was like is that a sheerness or is that just brown um is it just a brown color because it's the base color is brown on this polish and then it's got a blue tint, so I'm not sure. But it was really, really pretty. I'm going to keep it for now and play around with it. I wound up rating it a three because your mouse writing checks that your ass can't cash because it wasn't the best polish in the world. But I don't know that blue glow. It's 
stunning and I love these glowy polishes from Sweet and Sour. They're some of my favorites. Next up, I wore one polish. I wore this polish. It needs to be, this one does this. This is my only Shattered Hollow from her that does this, that kind of separates. But once you give it a good shake, it goes back to normal and it's fine. But I wore this from Bluebird Lacquer, a real know it uh, a real know it owl and it's one of her shattered hollows it's really really pretty in my pictures you'll see a regular base coat two coats of polish and a glossy top coat um easy removal very pretty i wind up rating this a five because this is what it looks like being the best because this was just a stunning stunning polish stunning polish next up i wore one polish from orly and this is light as a feather and in my pictures you'll see a white blurring base coat three coats of polish and a glossy top coat. Um, I did want to say that on this one, it could have probably just had two coats of polish, but I had like a little, um, like a smut, like I hit something with my nail when I was painting it and had like a little smudge and where it was opaque in two coats, I just, my eyes kept going to that little smudge and I thought if I wear this for a day or two, I'm just going to constantly focus on that little smudge. So I went over with a third coat to try to fix that little smudge, but this would be opaque in two coats. I just wanted to note that. This was amazing, easy removal. It's a beautiful cream from Orly, super cute. I wind up rating this a four. Um, that one day I'll get you in my hands and I'll play with you because I can't wait to wear that polish again. It's a really pretty polish. Next up, I wore two polishes. I wore Pastel Vibes from Finger Paints. It's just a really pretty lilac um, purple polish. Really, really pretty. And then I wore this... I'm going to put this, I don't guess you're going to be able to see it. I'm not sure how you say this. I'll write it on the screen, um, but it's M-O-K-U-U-L-A. It's um, one of the charity polishes for Maui that Swamp Gloss did. Um, it's kind of like a, I don't really know. It's like a, in the bottle, it looks purple, but on the nails, in my pictures, it does look purple. Um, and here are these two together. I think they looked fine together, but this polish here, this Swamp Gloss, in my pictures it does look purple, but a lot of times it didn't look purple. It looked real like, I don't know how to describe it. It wasn't my favorite, let's just say there. But in my pictures, you'll see a purple blurring base coat on um, the Swamp Gloss. This one, I just used a regular blurring base coat on the Pastel Vibes. Uh, two coats of the Finger Paints, three coats of the Swamp Gloss, and a glossy top coat. Easy removal. I say not sure how I feel about the Swamp Gloss. Pretty in certain lightings, but it wasn't pretty in other lighting. So I'm actually putting this in the giveaway because if I don't love it, love it, I just can't keep it. I wind up rating this a two. How could you do somebody like that? Because this looks like a stunner in the bottle. And when you could get it to pull off that color, it was a stunner. But I could only see that color in certain lighting. So it's just not something I want to take up room in my collection if it has to have certain lighting to make it beautiful. But it was still pretty without the lighting. I just really only liked it in the certain lighting that made it more purplish, if that makes sense. So next up on my nails, I wore three polishes. I wore another one from Finger Paints. This is called Sculptured Carnation. It's just kind of like a salmon-y pink color, I guess. Um, then I wore this from Dawn Diva, and it's called Veruca Salt, and it's like a black with all these like um, glitters in there, like rainbow glitters. And then I wore this polish from... This is like from that brand J Marissa. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but they have like really weird caps that get really, really sticky. I got this in a mystery and I just love this coloring, but I couldn't deal with that cap. So I poured it into another bottle and this is called Ticket to Summer. It's just a really pretty yellow. I don't know if it'll show up. It's got some shimmer in it. Really, really stunning. So I wore these three. This, this has got a weird cap. It's hard. There we go. I wore these three together. In my pictures, you'll see... A regular base coat, two coats of all the polishes, and a glossy top coat. Easy removal. I'm keeping the Dawn Diva and the J Marissa. I'm going to put this finger paints in the giveaway. It just wasn't my favorite coloring um, on my nails. Just didn't really love it. I wind up rating this manicure a one hot dog flavored water because it didn't really go good together. I thought it would because I thought, oh, there's glitters in there and black. I love black and pink and I love yellow and pink. So I thought it would all pull together, but it didn't. But that's fine. Next up, I wore 
Let me see. Is that what I wore? I feel like I'm skipping one. Yep, I did. I wore two. No, I wore three polishes. I wore this one from Morgan Taylor cashmere kind of gal. And it's like a really, really light, light gray polish cream. Just a basic cream. I wore this other gray polish from Orly called Dreamers Awake. It's just a little bit darker tone gray. Really, really pretty. And then I wore this gray Crelly called Lugosi from Witchcraft Lacquer. And it's kind of like a gray Crelly and it's got like orange and black and white glitters in there. Really, really pretty. Let me see if I can hold all these together because they have weird lids. Not so bad. Um, I used the Morgan Taylor as an undie. So I wore this underneath my home manicure. And um, yeah, I wore it underneath my home. Or I didn't. I'll take that back that back scratch that scratch that i wore this as an undie underneath um the witch coat witch cult witch cult lacquer the lugosi i did not wear it underneath the orly so you will see a regular base coat in my pictures this was wore as an undie underneath the lugosi which i did two coats of it and then i did two coats of orly and two coats of lugosi and i used clips to remove the witch coat which, I don't know why I can't say that, which cult, even though it was easy, everything else was easy to remove, but I did use clips on the witch cult because it has glitters in it. Um, I'm not sure how I love this. I wind up rating this a two. How could you do somebody like that? I'm going to keep all these in my collection for right now. This witch cult, it's the first one I've had from their brand. I really like it, but it was kind of like a really thin formula. Um, so I don't know. I'd like to get another polish from her brand uh, before, or from the brand before I judge it um, completely. But it was kind of a thinner formula, so I'm not sure if I loved it. So next up, I wore three polishes. I wore um, this one from Mooncat, and this is Paradise Found. And it's kind of like a, I don't know how, what color you would call this, like a sea foamy like bluish color then i wore rapunzel by don diva and it's just this really pretty like glittery polish i don't even remember what it looks like honestly <laughs> i can't remember now and then i wore this one from zombie claw and this is magic hat wanted and it's just a really pretty blue so i wore all three of these together and in my pictures you'll see a regular base coat two coats of polish and a glossy top coat this was easy to remove i have it there was a slight scrubbing with the dawn diva because it was like flakies and not glitters um i kind of like the zombie claw but i feel like i have polishes that kind of look similar to this that i like better so i'm actually going to put all three of these in the giveaway the moon cat cream was nice i just don't didn't care for the coloring of it so i'm putting all three of these in the giveaway I wound up rating this manicure a one hot dog flavored water because I don't know. I just didn't love the coloring of any of those polishes. Next up, I wore one polish from Moon Cat and this is Mad Hatter and it is a magnetic. Um, in my pictures, you'll see a regular base coat, two coats of polish and a magnetic top coat. Um, this was only my second time ever doing a manicure with magnetics. And the first time I only did like an accent nail. This one, I try to do a full mani. Um, I think I did okay for it being only my second time. I need to play around with magnetics um, more, but I just did not like this at all. I just didn't like it. It was easy removal. I wound up rating it a one hot dog flavored water because I just did not like the way it looked, and I'm putting this in the giveaway. Next up, I wore one polish from Bluebird Lacquer, and this was You Read My Mind. And in my pictures, you'll see a regular base coat, two coats of polish, and a glossy top coat. I have that this was easy removal. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. It is a stunning red. I'm not a big red person. I'm going to keep it in my collection for right now, um, but it is really, really pretty, just not my favorite red. So I wound up rating this a three because your mouse writing checks that your ass can't cash because I do think it was prettier in the bottle than on my nails, but it was still beautiful both ways. Just, I'm not a red person, so it's bad when I have to judge a red because I'm not a red person. Next up, I wore one polished from Rogue Lacquer, and this is Cluedo. And in my pictures, you'll see a regular base coat, two coats of polish, and a glossy top coat. 
this guy is so pretty. It's so much prettier on the nails than the bottle. It's just a really pretty green. Um, it's got like a glow in there and maybe like a little bit of shimmer. Really, really pretty. Um, easy removal. Very pretty. I wound up rating this a five because this is what it looks like being the best because this was really, really a pretty polish. Next up, I wore two polishes. I wore this one from Moonshine Manny and this is called My Best Friend's Wedding. And it's just a really a soft, soft gray with like a shimmer or something, hollow in it or something. It's got little sparkles in there. I'm not sure what they are, but really pretty. Then I also wore this one from Paradox Polish, which is called Oakland Fairyland. And I wore these two together. Um, and in my pictures, you'll see a regular base coat, two coats of polish, and glossy top coat. Um, I use clips for the Paradox to remove it because it does have glitters in there. I'm trying to get this to the gray side. There we go. Um, the Paradox polish in my pictures looks like kind of salmon-y colored, but it's really like a bubblegum pink in person. I don't know why the pictures didn't take. It was cute. I love gray and pink together. Um, very, very pretty. Um, it wasn't my favorite manicure, but I'm going to keep both of these for right now. I wind up rating it. How could you do somebody like that? Because normally I love pink and gray together. And this in person did look bubblegum, but in my pictures you'll see it looks more salmon, but it is a true like bubblegum pink, but very pretty polish. Next up, I wore one polish. I wore this one from Don Diva, and it's called Grinch and Ain't Easy. And in my pictures, you'll see a yellow blurring base coat, three coats of polish, and a glossy top coat. Um, this was easy removal, very glowy. This has got the original OGUP in there, um, which does make a polish very, very glowy, very pretty, very cute. Um, not my favorite, though. I wind up rating this a two. How could you do somebody like that? Um, I want to wear it again because I... A while back, I wore a polish, I think it was like two months ago, that stained my nails from Sally Hansen. And you can see like a little bit of the blue on different spots of my nails. Um, so I want to give this a fair share where I don't have that staining. It just hasn't grown out yet. Um, but And you could see it a little bit just on a couple nails. So it kind of swayed my judgment on that polish. But it is really, really pretty. So next up, I wore two polishes. I wore this polish from Quick Tonic, which is called Evening Peace. And it's really like, um, a, like a purple, like a dusty purple, I guess. It's really, really pretty, really pretty. And then I wore this from Different Dimensions, Put a Spell on You. It's kind of like a glitter and it's got like, um, it's a glitter bomb and it's got like, black glitters and silver glitters in there um in my pictures you'll see regular base coat two coats of evening piece one coat of the different dimensions i only put one coat of this on because it was already like thick um i do know that her glitters um from different dimension are like already like thick immediately in my opinion the day you get them even if you wear them right away so i was afraid to do two coats because i thought when they're so thick like that sometimes if you do two coats you know it will like just look horrid and all gunky so it like I don't know I probably wouldn't thin it out at this point but it's like close to needing thinner so I only used one coat of that I put glitter grabber on the different dimension and then a glossy top on both of them I use clips on the different dimension to get rid of it um this evening piece guys the coloring of it I don't it's like a dusty purplish gray oh my gosh it is really stunning and beautiful the coloring of it um this one i do believe glows in the dark and i didn't know and it was just it's always funny when you don't know and then it glows in the dark and you're like ah um i'm not sure if i'll keep the different dimension like i said her glitters in my opinion already come the day like new like a little bit thick and i don't know i don't think they should be that thick from the get-go i understand glitter's thickening up but if I buy a polish new and I wear it fairly soon, you know, I don't think it should be that thick. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that one or not, but I'm definitely going to keep the Quick Tonic. I want to bring this a three because your mouse writing checks that your ass can't cash. But it is, it was very, very pretty. 
Next up, I wore one polish. I wore this polish from Girly Bits, and it's called Kiss This Guy. And in my pictures, you'll see a regular base coat, two coats of polish, glossy top coat. This surprisingly dries matte. I got this in a mystery, so I had no clue, but it dries matte. I wind up putting glossy top coat on it because I'm not a matte girl. Easy removal. Very, very pretty. I wasn't sure I would like it, but it is very pretty. I wind up rating this a four that one day I will get you in my hands and I'll play with you because I can't wait to wear this again. Very pretty polish. And then the last polish I wore for the month is from Cupcake um, Polish, and it is called Snow Angel. And it's just a really pretty white with all these flakies in it. In my picture, you'll see a white blurring base coat, two coats of polish, and a glossy top coat. Um, it was easy removal. In my notes, I say it was pretty, but I feel like I have whites in my collection that I like better. So I'm going to wind up putting this in a giveaway. And I rated this a two. How could you do somebody like that? But it is a really pretty polish. I don't want to downgrade it. I just feel like I have whites very similar to this that I like a little bit better. But it was really, really pretty. So that's all the polishes that I wore for the month of November. If you had any standout manicures that you wore in November, comment those down below and let me know because I would love to know what you all have been wearing and what you all have been into. If you like videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do giveaways uh, every single month of nail polish to subscribers and I do nail content all the time. I thank you all my subscribers for subscribing and I thank you for watching all my videos. I really do appreciate it. I hope everyone has a great day. Remember, keep polishing. Bye.